Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Henry and welcome back to the channel. This special video is for you uh, military jockeys out there who love military aircraft and flight sim and may not have heard about DCS or have heard about it before but just haven't really heard heard about it before. So as you can see in front of me, this is DCS and it is available for free on Steam. Now, it comes with the Su-25, which is the Russian version of the A-10. However, other aircraft, such as the F-18, A-10, uh, Su-25, different version on yeah, Flaming Cliffs, like all these are DLCs, so you do have to pay for the aircraft, and it is expensive. Like, the Hornet itself on sale is $70 on off sale. It's usually over 100 However, I'm going to go into why this might be a good outlet for you, especially if you're um, more inclined to fly a military jet in uh, DCS. So again, on the floor here, you can kind of see uh, different aircraft you can buy. World War II, Cold War, all the way up to kind of modern day uh, jets such as the uh, F-18C, which we will see in a moment. However, um, if you haven't already, definitely click subscribe and like because that supports us a lot. All right, so let's get into it. So as you can see, we have instant action. You can have missions. Multiplayer is huge in DCS. So again, you can dogfight. Again, just to reiterate, this is a not this is not Ace Combat. All right, this is going to be very very simulator like stuff. You'll see in a moment here. But of course, you have all the other stuff too. So um, you you also have something called Combine Arms. So if you really like Steel Beasts, so controlling tanks or War Thunder, there's a little bit of that in here too. But um, let me get started here. I'm going to go to the mission editor. Just give me one moment here. And editor, let's make a new uh, quick mission here so we can choose your forces. Totally customizable. Uh, give it a second to warm up here. And the nice thing about DCS is that it's a very flexible system. And overall, it's a very beautiful looking engine. Again, you're going to see all this in a few moments here. Let me skip ahead. There we go, we're loaded in. Uh, the default one is the Caucasus region. However, you can also get Vegas, so like Nevada. Uh, I think Dubai is in there as well. So again, it's not like flight sim, how you can fly anywhere in the world. There are certain maps you download, but the ones that are uh, downloaded, they, they do have a lot in, in them, so it's nice. Um, again, in the editor, you can add pretty much anything. So static objects to fleets for naval combat, to uh, helicopters, other jets, ground vehicles, pretty much the whole nine yards, you know? and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a very, uh, I find it a very flexible system. So uh, if you give me a second here, I can actually add a jet to, uh, let's let's say Batumi. Let's start off flying a Batumi here. Uh, I'll uh, put down a jet here. Uh, let's say uh, right there. Let's uh, let's make it a, the yellow ones you can fly. So uh, again, so those are the ones that I've downloaded, but uh, so F5, all that stuff. So let's get uh, an F18 selected here. Derp, 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 derp. So I'm actually doing this post commentary because the recording didn't get my voice. So there you go. So F18, let's set it to you. Um, mini tutorial if you uh, have a DCS as well and want to learn how to make a mission. Just kidding. I'm not getting that fully in depth. But you, you can choose your payload. So again, they have everything from Mavericks to Harpoons to AIM 9s. I think they even have AIM 7s in here. Um, but uh, AMRAMs, the full nine yards, you know, because A10C, it's both air to air as well as air to ground here. So um, you can change the country, and they have different liveries as well. So they have a Canada 150 jet, um, and you can choose the Cougars if you want. Again, I do it because I'm Canadian, but of course, you can search for your own country here. We're going to select edit, and we're going to say take off from the runway. You can also uh, cold start it uh, as well if you so desire. Um, but yeah, we're just going to do a simple flight here for today, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. So again, you can definitely add a lot of other cool stuff here, but yeah, so we'll just uh, we'll close up shop here, and uh, we'll uh, just give it a test flight, just get in the, into the Hornet, just to see how different it is from your usual uh, flight sim. All right, let's give it a go. All right, so here we are in the F-18C, so if you're used to kind of like... FSX, Flight Sim 10, uh, Hornet, you will notice a few differences, such as the center uh, panel here. We have a wonderful colored screen for your maps, everything else. Um, so yeah, pretty much every button, if not 99% of the buttons in this cockpit do work. Uh, you can definitely play around with it. The full systems are animated. 
the uh, computers are fully, you have all your weapon systems, everything else. You can switch between all your different uh, settings. But of course, you do have a very nice looking engine. Of course, great shadows, bit mapping, everything else looks really good. Flight dynamics are very well looked after as well. We'll get to that in a moment. However, for sure, you can look around, you can play with your different pages, everything else. Unlike actual flight sim, everything does mean something, you know, it's, uh, you can, nothing's really in op. I think they added the harpoon package now for naval combat, but yeah, for sure. So, uh, you can definitely select your different weapon systems and, uh, let me kind of skip to while we are in the air. And here we are, a nice little takeoff roll, and we are flying away. And the nice thing is uh, you can notice the E bracket there for uh, landing and takeoffs. So then we don't tail strike here. Um, but, yeah, like, it's a, it's a really cool engine. Um, again, my computer isn't really the best. It's only a 1060, so it's a little bit choppy editing and uh, recording this video. That's why it looks kind of weird or choppy framed right now. But as you can see, full uh, they have full aerodynamics, full... Uh, wonderful g-force effects it's uh it's very fun to fly but yeah you can take a look here the lighting engine i mean like they they it's it's beautiful and again my my computer isn't the best one of quote anymore but you do get full reflections you do get everything else it's beautiful and of course comes beauty also comes realism in the sense that all full systems supported uh everything is indeed simulated um it it, it looks beautiful I mean, <laughs> a little bit better than uh, FSX, if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, you, you do have your full weapon system, hence it is a combat game. So your radar works, everything else, selectors. Um, if I switch on over to the uh, gun for a second, in air-to-air -air mode, so that's what we are currently in right now, you can give it a shot, and of course you do get the famous <laughs> noise. So again, sorry, I'm doing this post-commentary, uh, because didn't really record but i'll get to it in a second here um but yeah so again you do have your funnel there you go you do have your gun funnel for air to air combat and of course it, it does uh once once you get in the actual combat and get locked on it does have gunnery assistance just like the real hornet does now again it is a great game to fly uh you do have air to ground mode so again if you do have gbus uh if you do have like 82s or something that you can you can do that as well full maverick control so again just like the a10c which we will see in a moment you can do that as well and of course wing flexing is a thing yes they do animate wind flexing they do have those g effects which is great gosh darn it cortana go away um it they they do have everything else simulated which is really cool to have i mean like it's not like 1999 how it's pixel no they do have full uh simulated controls here so of course you do have your uh, flares and everything else but yeah so this is the basic flight stuff i just want to go over to the a10c just to show you how dynamic this game is just uh or simulator whatever you want to call it so uh stand by one second here and here we go a10 so pretty much same thing so fully uh the cockpit is pretty much all here play around with target and pod full nine yards again air sport all the way to playing around with the aim nines uh, again, it's just they've done a beautiful job with the simulation, especially with the systems and the aerodynamics, because having amazing graphics is one thing, but actually having kind of like the things going on in the background, it really does add to the uh, the, the realism of the game. But yeah, it, it, it looks gorgeous. Same with the A-10, amazing cockpit. And yeah, of course, you do have the famous uh, famous gun on here, so that's uh, it's always pretty fun. I'm flying the uh, Canadian fictional version, hence the uh, pixels on the wing. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun to play around with. <laughs> full, uh, full sim. All right, this is the F-15C variant. This is just a quick uh, one of those prefab missions here. We got a wingman, and of course we got a lovely AWACS on our side that's going to give us some logistical support. Uh, so yeah, as you can see on the top right there, that's our mission. And I will skip ahead a bit just so then you can see some combat, and I will shut up. Enjoy.
as well as some famous helicopters you can fly, which of course have really, really good flight dyna dynamics, especially for helicopters. You can pull a uh, really, really cool run in a tank as well, or APC, other vehicles as well. They're all supported with uh, combined arms. It's another kind of like an add-on you can get. But as you can see here, you can uh, play around with a Leo if you want to get some shots off. Really, really, uh, it's not the best. It's not Steel Beasts and it's not War Thunder, but it does have basic, uh, basic ground combat you can do. So for example, here, uh, here I am playing with the Lav 25. You can also have like other nation vehicles, like uh, got other American vehicles, Russian vehicles, etc. But again, if you, you can definitely play around with this. Again, um, this is more, DCS is more of a course aircraft, so don't rely on this too much. Again, if you, prefer ground stuff, definitely stick with uh, Steel Beasts or, uh, or if you want for fun stuff, just play around with War Thunder. There you go. Alright, that's it for today, folks. I just wanted to give you a brief introduction to DCS, what it is, what you can do, how beautiful it looks and plays. Uh, again, if you want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more amazing content. And as always, everyone, fly safe and happy landings. If you do want to see more DCS, let me know. Do you want aircraft reviews, missions done, uh, just derping around? Definitely let us know. But again, as always, fly safe, happy landing, and see you all in the next video. Cheers. Whoosh.